Right, good morning, welcome back to the shop. Now today on the Triumph Project, carburettors. Now there's only two reasons that your carbies can play up. One is either dirt, accumulation, and the other is wear and tear on the actual moving parts itself. Now this bike's done 17,000 miles, so wear and tear is highly unlikely, but it is 20 years old. And that means that there have been long periods of this bike's life when it's just sat still doing nothing not even a thousand miles a year on average. So in that time, any residue left in the carburetors, any fuel still sat there in the float bowls, it can slowly congeal over time and cause little sticky residue and that can break up, start blocking the jets and causing all manner of problems. So carbs are always worth a clean if the bike's been off the road for a while or if it's just not been used very much because slowly but surely, even if you use it once a week for 50 miles, it can still build up. So I'm gonna pull all the furniture out of the way, pull the carbs off and have a look what they're like inside. I think they'll be okay. The bike ran absolutely like a watch, no problem at all. But I don't want when this bike's finished to ride it out into the sunshine and find problems start hitting me in the face with the things I should have dealt with along the way. And one of those is cleaning the carbs out. So let's get all the furniture off, get the carbs off and have a look inside, see what they're like.
Right, there we are. Absolutely pristine, I think you'll agree. Float bowls, all immaculate. Just cleaned them up till they were totally perfect. A little bit of rubber lube around the rubbers just to re-enliven them, soften them up a bit, and they'll seal perfectly. I've done it loads of times, that always works. The front of the slides was a little bit dirty. That was just an oily residue, nothing more. And it's a telltale thing, because when you get an oily, waxy buildup on the front of your slides, that tells you that quite probably your air filter is a bit oily and there's a bit of gunge in your air box. It's getting dragged through and getting deposited on the back of those slides. So I've cleaned it all off. Also in the top, the diaphragms were perfect. The needles, perfect. Nothing in there now needs steaming with. They are absolutely bang on. Now I will look to balance them when I put them back on the bike. You can't balance them until they're on the bike and you get some decent gauges on and see if they're out. They weren't when it rode in and I'm sure they won't be when it rides back out, but we'll see when the time comes. But for now, that residue on the front of the slides, I've got a feeling it's a filthy gungy air filter. So let's have a look. Right, okay, there we are, all done. And what a strange design from Triumph. This is the air filter. In fact, this is the original air filter from the factory. You can see by the fact that it's disintegrating. It's like stale cake. It's all falling to pieces. The reason for that is just time and years and petrol residue and oil vapor from the breathers. They've all just destroyed it and that's got to be re completely replaced. The reason they get left, it's very common. If you've read a Thunderbird, Adventurer, any of those derivatives of this engine setup, well, this frame is the reason. The way this is laid out means that your airbox, it's a two-piece affair. You've got this kind of big plenum area at the back. They fit together like that. That's the whole assembly. And because of that, you take that bit off, that's, more, that's just a leaf collector. Get that out of the way. Now, what's left, you put your panel filter in that point there. To get that out, that panel filter, you need to separate the box, but it's absolutely wedged in position. It horseshoes around the frame like that, nice and snug. There's literally half an inch behind it, and to get it out, to get it apart, you need to take the carburetors out, which means that for anybody taking these for service at the dealer, there's probably quite a hefty bill in labor, in getting everything stripped out just to get to an air filter, and that leads to them getting left, and that leads to them being 20 years old and falling apart. So I've got to order a new filter, at the same time, I'm going to order some plugs and on some slinky glide cables. I've got some upgrades that I'll show you in the future, but that's it. For today, I've got a big parts order to make. And in the next one, they probably won't be here. So if they're not, we'll get the rocker cover off. Let's see what waits in there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.